Thank you for coming while you're here. Oh, good on you guys have a cheer, don't you? We're waiting for one more team to come on in. We get What's the weather like? You okay? Everybody get, you're all here, so I see you're not going to do it. Right? Oh, cool. Cool. I don't know what to do. Okay. One thing we're going to do here, this is a, let me have your attention, this is a very, very tight venue, as you can tell. So, just a little bit of logistics, our competition field's off to my right, and the practice field is off to the left. We're going to have a camera on the competition field, so these, you can view what's going on in the competition field on this screen on my left. As, and on the right, I believe we're going to use that for scores, right guys? That's where we'll be displaying the scores today. So if you want to see the scores and the rankings, they'll be up on this big screen here. Uh, we also have in the pits too. I saw screens in there. I don't know where it is. Just a live feed. Okay, so we do have a live feed into the pits as well. So we're really well coordinated this event. And um, I want to thank, actually, volunteers. Let's start with that. Pennsylvania College of Technology. This is um, a branch, a subsidiary of Penn State. They're related to Penn State, but they, they are their own entity. This is a very, very special school within the state school system. This is an awesome place. I wish I was 30 years younger. I would be here in a second. I've walked around the place. It's amazing. So um, if you're considering a school, all you high school students, this is a great place to consider, especially if you want to go ahead and to, you go into engineering and technology and have careers there. Okay? There's the plug for you. Plug for so, so anyway, welcome to all of you. This is the first tech challenge. This is the third of four qualifiers in Pennsylvania. The fourth one is going to occur, occur in Erie, Pennsylvania in two weeks. So you're at the third and the fourth. People that win here that will move on to the PA, um, the PA championship which will be March 5th in Weathering, Pennsylvania. So first overall, as you're aware, is a nonprofit company with a mission to get kids excited about science and technology. The first tech challenge is a middle to high school robotics program. And this year there are 1,500 teams around the world that have designed and built robots to play this challenge. And this is get over it, this challenge get over it. How many are uh, rookie teams? We see some hands, we have rookies? Wow. And how many, well, the rest of you are returning teams, I assume. You guys, returning teams, have seen other games. Do you like this game? What do you think of this game? Good game? Uh, okay, it's honest, it's cool. And what about rookie teams? How have you guys been doing? Do you, do you get it? Everything coming, coming all right with you? Yeah, you know. We can talk to you about that, too. If you want to tell us about your experiences, especially your rookies, if you want to tell us about your experiences, that would be fantastic, okay? About you know how how the, how first help facilitate your team and help the teams get started. We want to hear those stories, so you can give them to us verbally or write to first with those as well. We appreciate that. Uh, so I'd like to now that we have the welcome, I'd like oh my God, 4077 Nash. There you go. Yeah. So I'd like to welcome uh, the president <laughs> of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, David Gilmore. I'd like to say a few words to you. Students there, 
the um, AWS Welding Society students and the Society of Plastics Engineers students have lunch and did a point to the food court and we hope you enjoy your day. Um, thanks for coming to Penn College today, safe travels home, and once again we are thrilled to have you here and look forward to a long relationship. Have a great day. Today. First, I'd like to introduce Stephen Q. Goodale. Stephen is one of the Pennsylvania first affiliate partners. He is the one that is planning, setting up the venues, getting all of these great volunteers at all at four to five different venues this year. This is the first time we're running qualifiers in PA. So Steve's responsible for putting all this logistics, get taking care of all the logistics and getting put together. So a big round of applause for Steve. She's responsible for the whole program and the success of this program. Totally. All the teams, all the affiliate partners are in the world. Okay, so we welcome Joanne here today. She's here to assist, to observe. She goes to many, many tournaments. We're honored to have her part of this tournament today. So Today, also, our head judge, Eric Albert. Eric, raise your hand. There he is. <laughs> Eric is our head judge. There's a whole crew of judges that you're going to be meeting as the day goes on today. Give them respect, uh, because that's what you need to do with a judge. But mostly, they're very good people. Again, they're all volunteers, but they're very skilled, technically oriented. And they're thrilled to meet with you and all your teams. So show them your enthusiasm. Show them all the great work that you did, OK? And then our referees, our guys in the stripes. I have our head ref, Jeff Rankinen. Jeff, where you go. There you go. Jeff throws all the rules. As you know, especially those of you who have been to many of these first uh, competitions before, the refs, they pull the shots on the field, right? Those are the guys that pull the shots. We're going to set up a question, and we didn't do this yet, Jeff, but we will. We're going to set up a question box, so if there's any issues on the field or any issues that you might have with the call, we're going to have a question box so you can meet with the head rep and you can discuss any issues you might have in the field. And uh, speaking of the field today, too, I want to thank our TAs, field tech advisors. There you go. Jeff. And Jeff, you <laughs> have a great guys are going to help you get started on the field. The robotics, the scoring system tells them how much battery power you got, whether you're connected right, whether you're semantic modules, if you're going to run an autonomous program or not. They're going to be checking with you, making sure that your robots are up and running and healthy. The, our goal here, referees, volunteers, FTAs, all of us, our goal is for everybody to run good matches and to have a really great time. We don't want to leave anybody behind. We may have to run a match if there's a robot that has catastrophic failure, but our goal is for everyone to have a good time and mostly to run successfully on the field. Same thing goes for judges, right? You know, these awards here are judges' awards. This has nothing to do with the competitions going on the field. This is what George, well, it does, but for the most part, all these things, the Think Award, the Design Award, uh, and, and the Rockwell College Award, all these are very important awards. So it's not only a competition on the field, it's what you guys are doing off the field and what you do in your community outreach as well. That's very important first. Um, so anyway, all the volunteers have us all introduced. My name's Tom Zwislak. You guys have probably seen me before. I've emceed many of these tournaments and I just <laughs> And I'm glad you're all here today. There's a lot of returning teams, and I know you guys are fun. And rookies, have a good time. If you have never been to a tournament before, you have a lot of help in this room, all right? In fact, who is proficient in math you? Right there, okay? 
we actually have, this is the point of first, okay? Gracious professionalism, gracious professionalism it means compete like crazy, but do it with respect and do it with regard. One of the other uh, tenets of gracious professionalism, teams help other teams. You're in competition with each other, but you're also in cooperation with each other. You need, it really is great if you could help each other. So we have a team in green back there, might need some way of you help. They just, robot C. Robot, right? Robot C. Robot not C. Oh, not Lambie. Okay, Robot C. So we've got teams that are proficient in Robot C. We're going to ask other teams to help other teams if at all possible today. Um, so, you know, you, we know what your programs are, but we have Lambie or, or C, and I know which teams have some proficiency, and we might be sending them your way, and in fact, some teams have already agreed. So come to me, or ask other teams, or Steve or I will announce if, if the robots have an issue, to see if we can help. Big boys. Yeah, big boys. Uh, to see if you know somebody can help you with hardware, with software, the next team, with Samantha, any questions you have, if you have any confusion, there are lots of resources here to help you. That's what it's all about. So with that, we will have the Star Spangled Banner. We'll honor our nation and our flag. Please stand if you're not